Hey everybody, welcome welcome to another episode of Quinn's MLR class. And today, I'll be teaching you how to draw the African Bush Elephant. So let's start ourselves by drawing drawing the head, along with the trunk and, trunk and the rest of the face. Now these guys are the largest living species of elephant alive today, as well as the largest living... Almost the largest living terrestrial animal alive today, with the bulls reaching a shoulder height of up to 3.69 meters. That's, that's really tall though. And let's start by drawing the ears. Now you know that these guys are African bush elephants because of their big ears, ears, which, hence their name, are the shape of the continent in which they live in, Africa. Now. Now there are actually two different kinds of African elephants. Those are the African bush elephant, in which we are drawing one right now, and there's the African forest elephant, because this is in the tropical forest of Africa. Which, actually, to tell the difference, they have more ovalish shaped ears and straighter yet four tusks than the African bush elephant. I'm gonna start using the trunk. Now the trunk's not only a nose, it's actually more useful. It's a nose and a hand at the very same time. And the difference you can tell between those and their other cousins, the Asian elephants, African elephants have two hands on their, on their nose, while Asian elephants only have one. Let's start. Start on this in the mouth. Now we'll draw the tusks. Oh yeah, and, and both the males and the females of the species have tusks. While the Asian elephant in your hand, on the other hand, only the males have tusks, which are known as tushes. The females don't. Let's start drawing the tusks right up here. Maybe we'll start improving on the ears. Now that's much better. And now, let's start with the body of this elephant. Oh yeah! And the trunks are used for vocalizing, drinking, and grasping food. And they're both known for their intelligence and strong social bonds, especially the bonds between mothers and their babies. And these guys live in matriarchal societies, which means they're only led by the female. Well, the main leader, along with the aunts and sisters and sisters and aunts and nieces, and even their offspring. Well, well, with some baby male offspring, but when those guys, get, when those, uh, when the males get older, these guys are often kicked out to live in, to find their own herd and have babies. These guys are um, bachelor males, and these guys will, guys will live on their own as when they get older. I'm drawing hind legs here.
But yeah, these guys are very intelligent beings, being known to mourn their dead, and their dead, and the families will remember and communicate with family members they may come across later in life. And they're, all, and they're also pretty good tools. And these guys have very useful trunks. They use to pick up stuff, like I said, and it can turn a pop of a leaf. Don't leaf. These guys don't. Let's just say it. Alright, and contrary to popular belief, guys, these guys don't actually squirt water through their trunks. They actually just funnel, funnel them through their mouths. Good fun fact, isn't it? Let's draw the rest of the few. Oh yeah, let's notice that these guys have much longer legs than their Asian cousins. Let's start drawing the longer legs here. And now let's start with the tail. And these, and those tails are very useful. Well, very useful when, when the babies want to want to follow their mother. And a very good fly swatter. Let's add the hose right here. Alright, now it's time to color the African elephant. Oh yeah, and those, and those big ears of those, of the African bush elephant, are very, are very helpful when it comes to keeping cool in the humid tropical savannas of sub-Saharan Africa in which they live. They kind of act like fans, hands when they blow those ears, ears to keep them cool. And these, inside the ears, are veins, veins that keep cool as the elephant, elephant keeps, as the elephant, as in flaps, has those big ears, which is kind of very helpful. Imagine if you have big ears like an elephant. You, heck, you would keep cool without even bothering putting on the fan. Oh yeah, and the largest, largest individual was 4 meters at the shoulder, and heavy as 10 tons. Oh yeah, it primarily occur in grassy plains and bushlands of 37 countries in Eastern and Southern Africa.
Oh yeah, and these herbivorous animals mainly feed upon leaves, roots, barks, grasses, fruit, and their vegetation. In fact, to draw 100 kilograms of food a day, which, that's a lot of, which, besides, that would be like you eating a lot of salads, or heck, even a lot of quarter pounders, matters to keep you alive. Which, technically, the bigger you are, the more food you have to, have to eat, and it'll, able to get more energy so you can, so you can run, play, or, or do anything else that motivates you. Like going hundreds of miles in search of food and watering holes. Let me tell you some fun facts before we go. Oh yeah, and unfortunately these guys are ver are currently vulnerable to extinction due to poaching for their ivories ivory fetches, which are highly valuable in black markets in Asian countries, as, as unfortunately well in the U.S. In the U.S. And in addition, addition, war and overexploitation of natural resources usually cause increased poaching for their meat, frequently come in contact with people as well as eating their crops, and also threatened from habitat loss as well. Well, well guys, there you have it. Now you guys know how to draw the African Bush Elephant. If you guys like this video, please make sure to hit, like, and subscribe, and tell me in the comments what creature you want me to draw next. Thank you guys for watching, have an animal-tastic day.